the structures are painted and in good condition and repair. We get to comment on that also. Well, the city of Davis came together tonight to bring attention to a recent spike in crime. Tonight's rally comes after a string of burglaries targeting homeowners who are out of town. Police say someone's been kicking in the doors of Davis homes and stealing cash, jewelry, and safes. Just a short time ago, an organized walk wrapped up in the downtown Davis area, and that's where we find CBS 13 Sharin Roger with more on the community's effort to combat crime. Sharin? Sam and Christina, there were at least two dozen people that started around here in downtown Davis making their way around town. They made sure to start after sundown around 8 o'clock when it's dark and when some of these safety concerns come to light. What we're going to do is divide out the downtown. Um, so everybody, every group will take a couple of streets. Divided into teams. Are you coming with us? Concerned residents, Davis police, business owners, and city leaders hit the pavement. We're going to hand out um, the list to people with clipboards and pens and uh, ask people to take a walk and just make note of what it is that they see. That light's too covered by foliage. From burnt out lights to street hazards, this group walked around, flashlights in hand, taking note of safety issues in this typically robust downtown. See these bike riders that have uh, no lights on the bikes, they, uh, no helmet, and they just blew through the stop sign? When it's dark in downtown Davis, the drivers can't see them. That's a real problem. We have actually heard many complaints from the students about how dark some of the alleyways are and how dark parts of our downtown are. So they feel unsafe biking down here. And so we want to take a look at some of the street conditions and see what we can do to improve that. The Davis police chief says that they've seen a spike in property crime in the past year and sexual assaults in this college town. And this walk was to help shed light on these issues. There's a fair amount of burnt out street lights. We're looking for, you know, uh, tripping hazards, bushes that might need to be trimmed back, places where people might, you know, hide, you know, and, and night might not be might not be well lit. And after it's all done. I hope that there's a, a long action list uh, of items to take care of and that we see some follow-up. Yeah, so that's the question. What happens after here? Well, they'll be taking an inventory of all the concerns. They'll be addressing property owners, business owners, and the city to make sure that these issues are addressed. And if tonight's walk is successful, they're hoping to expand it to other neighborhoods. All right, Sharin, thanks much. Live for us tonight in Davis.